in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed that's why I love you forevermore. Sing it from your the depth of your heart. You made my life so beautiful. We are beautiful, Lord. And as you are, there's nothing greater. For the more we know you, the more we want to know you. I live to praise your name, and I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. and worship him worship him from the depth of your heart Lord we love you we love you we love you and we honor you thank you for your authority in this place thank you for the grace for obedience you're turning our lives around making us signs and wonders Oh, we give you all the praise. We give you all the praise. May the nations come and see what you can make out of obedient people.
Father, mighty God, we honor you, we glorify you, we lift your name, let your name be exalted above every man, above every philosophy, above every understanding, you are lifted, you are lifted, you are lifted, we thank you, we acknowledge you. the mighty God. Make sure you worship him. Make sure you acknowledge him. Call him all the names that you know he is. Lord Jesus, we worship you. Lord, we worship you. The Lamb upon the throne. Sing it to him. Lift your hands, lift your voice. And let's worship him. I gladly bow my knees. Thank you for your miraculous presence in this place. To worship you. Forever you. The Lamb upon the throne I gladly bow my knees Forever you will be Everlasting, you remain King of Kings and Lord of Lords. No man voted you into power. No man can impeach you. You sit upon the side and manipulate time to respond to your will. find true worship in this place we love you we truly truly love you we're not using you to build enviable destinies we're not using you to find relevance we're not using you to manage our fears and insecurities you are bigger than that you are bigger than that For you are bigger than what we say. Say, you are bigger than what we say. You are wiser than what we say.
you're not a contributor to our success you are the reason why we are successful you're not part of our lives you own everything we're not giving you the most important part of our lives we're giving you everything 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 Lord, we love you. We bless you. We love you and we bless you. This is part of our worship. We love you. We're not just thinking it, we're saying it. We love you. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, you have perfected praise. Lord, we are too grateful to allow stones take our place. We are too grateful to allow the trees worship you. We are too grateful. You have done well and we honor you. You have done well and we bless you. You have done well beyond our prayers, beyond our fasting, beyond our levels of obedience. Beyond our levels of understanding, you have glorified your name. And we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we bless you. We thank you. Hallelujah. It is a good thing to give thanks to the Lord. Thanksgiving is a sign of humility, just like prayers, it's an acknowledgement of His sovereignty above and beyond our limitations let me tell you something brothers and sisters god is not an addition to our lives he's the reason don't 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 look at god as you see the reason why our worship is not perfected is because we think we have done so much then god added to it so we worship him as colleagues i don't worship him as a colleague he's the king he is my king. Take God out of the equation of my life. I am absolutely useless. There's nothing embarrassing about this. If you are ashamed to acknowledge the might of God, the psalmist said, if the Lord had not been on our side, he said, now may Israel say, if the Lord had not been by my side. Please, in one minute, I'd like you to open your mouth and count your blessings. Don't pretend he has not been faithful. Take your eyes away from that which you think he has not done and acknowledge him. How can I be so ungrateful? You have done well. You have changed my life. You have given me what money cannot give. You have given me your presence. Look what you've done in this ministry. We acknowledge you. We are so blessed, our souls have found rest, oh Lord, we give you thanks, sing it with me. When others are complaining, seeing the things they think you have not done, we are grateful. How dare we complain after all you have done? For we are so blessed, and our souls are found blessed. Oh Lord, we give you One more time, just the voices. Worship Him. Reflect on the many things he's done in and through your life. For all you have done, we are so blessed and our souls. Jesus.
Jesus Christ, we thank you. You are our confidence in this place tonight. It is because of your presence that we know lives will be changed tonight. We have come to hear you speak. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, accept our coming here tonight as a reflection of our inadequacy in ourselves. Accept our coming tonight as a recognition of our limitations. Accept our coming tonight as a communication of our dependence on you. For we will not be here if we did not trust you. Lord, we trust you. Hallelujah. Please be seated. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This for someone is the message God came to give you tonight. This act of worship. Please listen to me, brothers and sisters. The key to more of anything in your life is gratitude. The key to more of anything in your life, anything good, is gratitude. He took five loaves and two fish. He lifted it up and the Bible says he gave thanks. You know, sometimes we live in a world where there is such an appetite for more. More money, more fame, more this, more that. And now God wants to increase us. Motion is a sign of life stagnation is a sign of death so god wants us to move forward but you see god's system is such that you never leave where you are to the next level until you thank him sufficiently for where you are hallelujah guilt not guilt in a negative way will never allow me to dare complain before god there are too many stories in my life that show the faithfulness of God. I will be wicked and heartless to ever claim he's not faithful. So for me, if I do not have a language of gratitude, I'd rather not speak. I'd rather sing and worship him. There are too many reasons in my life. I am a testimony of how God can take a man from nothing to something how would I be so stupid to complain shout around he's giving me what money cannot buy his presence listen if you have a property they call you a rich man but someone can bully you and collect it the government can seize it from you are we together? If you have investments all over the world, they call you a business mogul. But everything can crash and fail in one day. Are we together? Yeah. If you have a political position, it is not infinite, it is not everlasting. Are we together? Even if you are a monarch, the reality of death and time can catch up with you. But when he gives you his presence, there is no way to find it and collect it from you. It's not a commodity that belongs to this earth realm. It's a reality that is beyond this realm. It will buy anything. The presence of God is the master capital. It's bigger than land. Bigger than degrees. Bigger than anything. Please believe me. The most expensive commodity is the presence of God. When you have it, you have access to kings and their treasures. When you have it, you have access to businessmen and their wisdom. When you have it, you have access to royalties and their sacrifices. They will bring to you the rewards of their years of labor and beg you to collect it in exchange for the presence of God. Never 
never you think the presence of God is just a way of feeling spiritual then you quickly feel spiritual then you concentrate on what you think will make you successful no only a fool does that the presence of God gave the nation of Israel gold and silver in one day what they could not get in 430 years the presence of God became for them a pillar of cloud by day and of fire by night hallelujah you know sometimes when you hear a man of God talk so much about the presence of God please look up it's easy to think the man of God is speaking because his life is now comfortable. You know, that's what people think in church. When a preacher is talking like this, you know, they feel ah, you are doing well, you are enjoying. Why will you not talk about the presence of God? But you need to ask how the person started and what brought the person to the current level. Are we together? What you are seeing now is not a seed. Is a harvest are we together yes never covet any man's glory pay attention to the story the story reveals the process the story reveals the sacrifice we live in a generation where we are obsessed with results and that is important but we focus so much on the end of the results we want finished products but we do not pay attention to how the things are made Hallelujah. What you are learning will give you anything you admire now. So forget about the admiration and focus on the training. The training will inevitably bring you to the place of glory. Father, help us tonight in the name of Jesus. Bless you. Good evening, everybody. Just turn to your left and right and tell your neighbor good evening. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All right, pick up your pen, paper, let's get to work. There's a lot to do. The Glory Revealed Part 2. Last week we started a series, The Glory Revealed. It's a series that is supposed to guide us, excuse me, and teach us the principles, how a man's life can become a reflection of all the possibilities that consist in God. Hallelujah. Please try to get last week's teaching. It's free. You can get it after the service, especially for those who are online following us. There are so many people and we love you. You are part of us. The Lord honor you in Jesus' name. And I spoke to us last week and I started laying a foundation that the pursuit of godliness, please listen, the pursuit of godliness, the pursuit of relevance in the kingdom begins with an encounter say an encounter the journey of a believer does not start with learning principles and laws and formulas business people teach you that if you want to arrive get formula a add it to b and that's important but anytime you begin to study anything outside of an encounter first it will waste your time and lead you to error because the kingdom is regulated by a person, not just systems. It is a person who created the systems. So you have to encounter the person Christ. Are we together? So your journey does not begin by learning about tithes and offerings, all the laws that we shared in the series before this. They are very important. But you must start with an encounter. When you meet the person, then he will guide you. Because the Bible says there is a way that seemeth right. There is a method. There is a formula. It seems right to a man. But the Bible says the end thereof are the ways of death. And um, we discussed the concept of glory. I'm just doing a quick recap. How that glory refers to the essence of a thing. The character. Are we together? The, 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 the word glory is from the Hebrew word kabod. The Greek word is doxa. Is a reflection of the true nature when the true nature of a thing is expressed we call it the glory of that thing are we together now and then another interesting understanding of the word glory is the possibilities that that's the one I want us to pay attention to 
is the one that is relevant in this series the glory of a man means all the possibilities that are inherent within the man the glory of this mic is revealed in its ability to amplify sound are we together when you go to buy this mic now and they tell you this singular mic i'm holding is say two hundred thousand. you look at this until you connect it to something then you will see the potentials are we together this is two hundred thousand, for instance because it has an ability to amplify my sound so i can stand here and speak and people down the second overflow and everywhere can hear so the glory of this mic is the possibility inherent in it are we together now so when we talk of the glory of god it refers to all the possibilities that are encapsulated in the person god and that is reflected in the person christ because christ is the full expression of the image of god are we together so jesus came to open us up revealed to us the glory of the father an example of the manifestation of that glory was seen in the healings when he came to people they never knew he had the supernatural ability to heal and so he would tell someone pick up your mat stand up and go glory revealed i did tell us last week that until glory is revealed it cannot be appreciated glory that is concealed cannot be appreciated if you buy a phone the pack is only a packaging but the real product is inside if you keep the pack even if it's for 10 years it will not profit you but when you open it then you see the content and you appreciate everything that is there there are phones for instance that can just make calls text messages and a few things there are other phones that can browse at at a level of speed you can connect to several things watch videos and the rest those possibilities are the glory in the phone which is an expression of the wisdom of the company that made it so the phone reflects the excellency of samsung or any other lg or whatever product are we together now so christ came as a manifestation of the glory of god the invisible god yahweh found earthly expression and everything jesus did was a sample of what god can do he didn't show us everything he only showed us small and said you continue and he sent the spirit of glory are we together to continue so the bible was not supposed to just end with jesus we are epistles we are an unfolding of other dimensions of glory that are possible if jesus were still on the earth would have written more than would have written probably there would have been an episode where he walked on a zinc and came down probably there would have been an episode where he made a dry ground to be full of water but the holy spirit came and through jesus showed us an example that we should follow in his steps so the goal of this series is to teach us the mystery behind spiritual alignment that can make a man become a reflector of the glory of god that all there is all that there is to you is not just your human nature there is more say amen, amen. so the glory of a thing reflects the possibilities and um, we began to explain how that one of the keys to experiencing the glory of god is to believe that there is such a possibility you see brothers and sisters god is not a man that you should lie are we together not the son of man that he should repent if a jimmy has fifty thousand hidden in his suit pocket is hidden and we cannot see it if he tells me and says i have fifty thousand my attitude towards him will show whether i believe it or not are we together if i tell you right now on this table there is a phone there is this assuming you cannot see it anything you cannot see you will have to use my person to validate your trust because you cannot see it are we together so faith is that response that is entirely based on your perception of who god is because until 
there is a manifestation you do not yet know once you have seen it once and again it's no longer faith it's called trust trust is based on a track record of a man's experience faith is based on your knowledge of his person if i tell you after service there will be free bus transport to take you assuming you are a new person who just came here it's up to you to look at me and gauge could this person be lying and then if you wish you can ask somebody who has had an experience with me the last time he spoke like this was there a boss and the person tells you yes so you believe not because you have seen a boss you believe because you think i am too big to lie to you that's what faith is predicated upon so when god says i want to reveal my glory it's up to you to first believe could god be joking is he playing games with me does he have the ability to back up his claims and this is why we have the bible the bible is a compendium of god's speakings versus their manifestations in the life of people abraham i will make you at the end of it he made abraham he told gideon you're a mighty man of valor at the end of it gideon became a mighty man he told the apostles you will receive power at the end of it the bible says then he swore by himself that by these two immutable things it will be impossible for God to lie to the end that you may find a consolation that every time you see God speak you take him seriously say I believe in God say it again I believe in God hallelujah today I want you to open up your spirit because I believe with all my heart that what I'm about to share with you will truly bless you in the part two of this series, we are going to be considering the anointing, the glory revealed part two. We are looking at the anointing, that agency that can help men to reveal the possibilities in God. I said to you how that the glory of a man, listen please, is an unveiling of the possibilities that are in that man. But there is a spiritual agency that empowers men to reveal this possibility the name given to it is the anointing acts chapter 1 verse 8 mm. please be very sensitive a lot will happen tonight a lot will happen tonight this series is meant to truly bring an anointing to your life that you can hold on to it you can run with it and you can take every mountain that stands before you say amen acts chapter 1 verse 8 let's read together one to read but ye shall receive what hold on you shall receive the word power there is the word dunamis it's not the word exousia there are many words that are translated power and authority interchangeably two of them that are very important is exousia and dunamis exousia is erroneously translated power in many places in scripture but exousia is not power exousia is an authorization the capacity to stand in the office of someone and represent him is called exousia but this is not exousia this talks of force the agency that compels compliance is called power dunamis so it says you shall receive power after read on that the holy ghost is what come upon you what will that power make you do read on it says and ye shall be unto me where in jerusalem uh -huh. judea samaria and to the uttermost part of the earth so his idea is that you become witnesses who is a witness a witness is one who validates that the claim of another is true are we together if we are in the court for instance please pay attention I'm establishing a lot if we're in the court of law right and someone stole my phone and while he was stealing it promise saw the person are we together and now we're in the court of law and I say no this guy Sam stole my phone the judge will ask do you have any witness and then we will bring promise let's assume promise was snapping 
and in the process of snapping he snapped the man picking it that is the evidence a witness is only a witness because he has an evidence without an evidence you cannot be a witness please listen without an evidence you cannot be a witness I can be I mean a Jimmy can be my brother but in this case he cannot be a witness he can support me in prayer but when we stand in court he does not have evidence everybody say evidence I'm building a case here so promise comes before the judge and then he says are you a witness to this he says yes produce your evidence then he produces a photo and that photo shows the person stealing and based on that evidence the judge so the evidence is the power that has forced the phone to return back to me the anointing is the proof that you are a witness the anointing is the evidence when you stand in this court of life and life places a demand on you to prove that God is with you when your family background brings before you a mountain to prove whether God is with you when the limitation in Nigeria stands before you and says you are a Christian prove that God is with you he says you must receive power the authorization you cannot be a witness so you are going around telling people Jesus saves and they are saying what do you mean Jesus saves Buddha also saves so what is your evidence and then the person levitates in the air this is my evidence Buddha empowered me and they say what is your evidence and then you say ba 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 and they say nonsense that's not evidence hmm. are we together when someone comes up on the scene and says I am a free mason I worship the flying dragon of Asia the spirit called Mammon and this is the evidence I have built empires by her wisdom what is your evidence and then you say I'm a Christian I'm just going to heaven what is your evidence please pay attention to tonight's service because life will ask you that question I will never follow a God who cannot prove himself I'm not one of those religious people I took time to ask God questions before I started ministry because the world will ask me questions you will stand before businessmen who are idol worshippers the spirit will give them ideas and they will move forward and you come ranting and speaking like a fool you will stand before arrows that fly by day and noisome pestilences what is your evidence when there is a plague moving and it does not affect you it's an evidence that there is another life in you please hear me this is what I'm trying to teach you in this series there must be an evidence let me tell you why we are talking too much in church a believer was never designed to be a noise maker we were designed to be proof producers our noise is a is a cover up for insufficient evidence do you know you can be in a court and speak and the lawyer will say this evidence is not strong enough there are few things the church is doing that unbelievers are not doing very few very few I have studied a lot on world religions I study a lot on religions and so many things Christianity is not the fastest growing religion I hope you are aware I will tell you why because our strategy is wrong they have proposed strategies that are not very effective the religions that represent the fastest growing religions you never see crusades are we together you never see tracts you never see people with talking moving with bibles all around but there is a harvest per second per second god's ability god's ability is working in me He's working in me. God's ability. God's ability. He's 
on your head in one minute and pray and say Lord there must be an evidence an evidence I'm tired of bringing mockery to your name and misrepresenting you go ahead and pray he shall receive power power not stories power not stories power Hallelujah, please sit down fire is burning in this place I tell you Acts chapter 10 verse 38 please help us media I came to challenge you the way we are doing church and Christianity we are about to disappoint God we need evidences not evidences just from preachers are we together I will never follow a God who cannot prove himself. I'm not one of those people they like, they say, just believe, don't worry in his time. No way. No way. No way. Before Gideon accepted the assignment, he asked questions. Before Mary accepted, she, she said, how shall these things be? Because according to my knowledge, a man and a woman will produce pregnancy. But he said the power of the highest. In other words, there is another root in the spirit. You have known that it's only a man and a woman. You have known that you only wait for five years to get a job. But there is another root. The power of the highest shall overshadow you. See, I bring you another way. There is not only one way of doing things. The world has created their way. But God has his way. God anointed Jesus. Let me tell you what that means. Look at the extent to which he anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Who was anointed this way? Jesus. He was not anointed three days to the cross. He would have had 33 years of wasted experience and three days of impact he was anointed before how many of us have been taught to start moving without empowerment he says as a result of that who went about doing what doing good an example of the good he did was to heal all that were oppressed of the devil that was not the only good he did. He multiplied bread, doing good by the anointing. He forced money inside the mouth of a fish, doing good by the anointing. He multiplied bread and fish by the anointing. He calmed the storm by the anointing. He vindicated a woman who was on her way to death by the anointing. He raised the dead by the anointing. And the Bible says he went about doing good and healing all that they, all they that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. Divine presence bringing the anointing in the life of Jesus and Jesus moved around doing good. You are going around trying to do good. Willing to do good. Meaning to do good. But good is not coming because good is not just a desire. There is an empowerment. Men are empowered to do good. I want to help the poor. There is an anointing that helps you to do good. Write this down. What is the anointing?
please participate and listen patiently and carefully those outside in any of the overflows just pay attention you may be standing but listen number one the anointing is God's seal of authorization upon you to represent him the anointing is God's seal of authorization upon a man upon any man not a preacher God's seal of authorization upon you to represent him every military man has a uniform the uniform is a seal of authorization when the military man is in mufti he has no right to do certain things but when he wears his uniform his uniform and his badge is a seal of authorization are we together mm. Paul said Paul I Paul a man approved of God with miracles signs and diverse manifestations approved of God that is the evidence of my apostleship hallelujah so number one God's seal of authorization upon a man to represent him number two the anointing is God's capacity to produce change and compel compliance write it down underline compel because we live in a stubborn world that will not change by desire it takes power to change things it takes power to change genotype from SS to AA it takes power to change a cancerous cell to a healthy cell it takes power to raise the dead it takes power to prosper hallelujah are we together it takes power to prosper we all want to prosper but we neglect the place of power many people bow to gods bow to spirits receive power from them they sacrifice children turn them upside down and drain their blood and the man takes his pen upon that blood and goes to sign a proposal and then whenever you see it you must approve it that's power and yet many believers just move around and they ask you why should you get this proposal you say i'm sincere welcome to the world where only mantles speak your long story and english will not do you much when moses went to pharaoh he said pharaoh this is what the lord said pharaoh said nonsense he said my rod continue the conversation i don't have time for this rubbish janus and jembers brought their own rod when he swallowed it moses said take note of this i'm coming back and he left after nine plagues pharaoh was still hardened then the bible says yet one more plague will i bring upon pharaoh and the nation of israel he says afterwards he shall let you go and he didn't let them go the bible says they were driven to go out they didn't wait for their dough to rise to make chinchi they were in a hurry they made it anyhow because a man was tired may you anoint in weary darkness to let you go i'm not motivating you there is an unction a man can carry no matter how mad a man is he will not enter fire by mistake give him two minutes that madness will rearrange itself until it comes out because fire was not designed to fear the bible says he maketh his angels winds numa spirits and his ministers flames of fire there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please look up. Someone came to me and said, Every night there's a spirit that comes to him and oppresses him just when things are about to happen a stranger steps into his room 
and I said it's because that stranger has not seen power the Bible says no man can enter a man's house and spoil him what will you first do discuss suggest bind the strong man he says and then you spoil his goods everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen I prophesy to you everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen sing it one more time everything that was lost shall be returned unto me Have you seen someone steal a laptop because he saw a room empty and you steal the laptop and run away with it are we together run away with the laptop because you are more powerful than the person then what does the owner do he goes to the police station and carries a policeman are we together they hold guns and they enter a van then they come and meet the owner after two weeks and say we are going to kill you power above his power what does he do he shows you the laptop is still lying down there quietly and he carries it the bible says, when you catch a thief if he gives you back what he has stolen he has still cheated you he will restore tenfold that profit must be added in the realm of the spirit when you catch a thief he doesn't pay back what he has stolen because time would have gone are we together if the breakthrough had come in 2005 by now you would have helped many people so now that it did not come you're not just going to receive it like that if you receive it you did it was not restoration it was just progress continued hmm. the capacity to produce change and compel compliance if Buhari announces right now and says tomorrow is public holiday, assuming tomorrow were a working day, immediately he speaks. All the armed forces and the military people and paramilitary, he is using authority, not power. What he's using is exousia, his office as a president to speak. But dunamis are the soldiers. So they move on the street with cane, guns, tear gas, and uh, black maria what are they doing compelling compliance if they find you roaming around still trying to sell drugs in your pharmacy they ask you did you not hear what the president said and then you, they hop you into the black maria and penalize you god makes the statement the earth is the lord's he's waiting for you to create that compliance are we together now Number three, we're still defining the anointing. What is the anointing? The anointing, write it down, is the empowerment to manifest the possibilities in God. The empowerment, the capacity to manifest the possibilities in God. The anointing is the empowerment to manifest the possibilities in God it's not enough to chorus and say God is love it's not enough to chorus and say God is mighty are we together now your life must produce the evidence number four the last definition what is the anointing the anointing is the agency to reveal the love and the sovereignty of Jesus Christ the agency to reveal the love and the sovereignty of Jesus. There are two things God is obsessed that they be revealed on the earth. Number one is his love. Number two is his sovereignty. His might as the sovereign ruler. That's where the word Lord comes from. There is a desire in God to see his love find expression in the earth. There is a desire in God to see his sovereignty find expression 
Hallelujah. There are two dimensions to the anointing. Please just write this quickly. That's not really where we are dwelling. We preach many messages on the anointing, but just for us to know. There are two dimensions of the anointing. Broadly speaking. Number one. There is the personal anointing that empowers a man to grow and be like Jesus. There is a personal anointing that empowers a man to grow spiritually and be like Jesus. People like Kenneth E. Hagin call it the anointing within. The personal anointing that is for your spiritual growth to, to help you grow to the fullness of the stature of the measure of Christ. It is the anointing that teaches you all things. It is the unction from the Holy One that empowers you. Right? The grace of God has appeared unto all men, teaching us to say no. There is the personal anointing to grow and represent Christ. 1 John 2.20, media please. 1 John 2.20 That's the first dimension of the anointing. Every believer in Christ is entitled to that dimension of the anointing. Even that dimension itself can grow. Everyone is entitled. Read after me, please. One to read. It says, But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and as a result, you know all things. You have an unction. Whether you are a preacher, whatever, you, if you are in Christ, you are entitled to this dimension of the anointing. Hallelujah. The second dimension of the anointing, and trust me, I know what I'm saying. The second dimension of the anointing is the anointing that is given to you on account of a spiritual office or an assignment the second dimension of the anointing is the anointing given to you on account of a spiritual office or an assignment that is the anointing of your call the anointing of your destiny the anointing of your destiny is not the same as the anointing of your personal spiritual growth. It's the anointing that backs you up to make sure you fulfill purpose. The anointing that is given to you on account of a spiritual office or an assignment. Write this down. It is the anointing that reveals your destiny. It is the anointing that empowers you to fulfill your assignment on earth. That one comes with discovering your call. That one comes with discovering your place in life and destiny. It doesn't come just because you are born again. Are we together? If God calls you into ministry, there is an anointing that follows you. If God calls you into business, there is an anointing that follows you. The moment you assume that position of being an ambassador, you are ready to take one of the seven mountains that control humans. One of the seven mountains, the mountains of religion, the mountains of government, the mountains of, of, of arts and entertainment, the mountain of media, the mountain of education, the mountain of family, and the mountain of finance. Any one of those mountains God sends you, there is an anointing. Are we together? Because there are rulers of darkness. The Bible tells us, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, he says, but against what? Principalities. Against powers against rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in heavenly places these are rankings and all these spirits are strategically stationed on this mountain listen to my message give me this mountain there i teach on the spiritual dimension of success success is not just by degrees success is not just by intelligence success is not just by being scientific there is a spirituality because there are giants on every mountain but Caleb said, give me this mountain. Hallelujah. So there is an anointing that comes with your call. There is an anointing that comes with your assignment. When God empowers you, he puts an anointing upon your life, an anointing upon the ministry he has committed to you. Are we together? There is an anointing upon Benihim. 
that produces that result now let me tell you something about this second dimension of the anointing listen this second dimension of the anointing is not operational anytime i want you to understand this are we together there is a timing and there are seasons of its operation this anointing for your assignment is not operational anytime there are three laws that govern its operation one a demand from those who desire to be recipients of it it responds to faith it responds to desire are we together the bible says in acts chapter 4 how that when he was passing the gates beautiful the man was begging for arms and peter told him look on us and he looked at them expecting to receive and he says silver and gold that expectation provoked the anointing blind Bartimaeus cried thou son of david he provoked the anointing that is the anointing people like kenneth e hagen would call the anointing upon it doesn't come all the time anybody that tells you it comes all the time is a liar and doesn't understand anything about the anointing if it's operational in you all the time it will kill you you do not have the physical capacity your body does not have that stamina have you finished preaching and you went back and felt tired it lifted that's what jesus meant by virtue has gone out of me when virtue leaves you prophets in ancient times when the anointing landed upon them for their experience when it lifted some of them were sick for days they had to eat herbs to recover from the stream are we together this anointing is activated at the point of delivery at the point where you have to do that which you were born to do so you can be sleeping in your house the moment there is a demand and it is with respect to your assignment the anointing is like a lion within you are we together that's the reason why you can see a man of god you may not even be able to touch him when he's on stage after the meeting you are hugging him slapping him because something has lifted but if by any mistake you're hugging you apply faith to it it will return that's what makes people just they are laughing and the next thing the power of god because their hunger did not die with the service are we together so many people were touching jesus and a woman came he said if i may but touch the hem of his garment jesus was not even aware but it was automatic the moment there was a demand that anointing that messianic anointing that will fulfill isaiah 61 to bind up the brokenhearted the anointing that is given on account of your assignment two scriptures to help us Isaiah 61 please will not read it um, will not project it just write it Isaiah 61 from verse 1 to 4 the spirit of the Lord is upon me upon me because he gave me an assignment that requires an authorization so because of that the spirit of the Lord is upon me and with that spirit came an anointing to preach glad tidings to bind up the brokenhearted right to set the captives free to open up the doors of prison to declare the acceptable year of the lord and the day of vengeance of our god to comfort all day that morning zion to give them beauty for ashes a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they may be called oaks of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified the anointing came for that reason jesus reiterated it again in luke chapter 4 when you read from verse 14 to 18 the bible says they brought to him right that which was written by Isaiah the prophet and then he opened it and he began to read the spirit of the lord is upon me and at the end of it he said this day is this scripture fulfilled i have come as a fulfillment of this then he began to do it in one of the synoptic gospels there and then he told a man with a withered hand stretch forth your hand as a proof that i have come what is the purpose of the anointing i've said it to us but we must the purpose is is encapsulated in the definition but the purpose of the anointing isaiah 10 27 isaiah 10 27 
Isaiah 10 27 I'd like us to read it together it's projected one to read and it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed why listen please look up there are yokes there are burdens there are afflictions upon the lives and the destinies of men upon the families of men robbing men of their dignity mocking God's statement that he made man like him and it takes the anointing to correct that error are we together the anointing comes to lift burdens the anointing comes to break yokes the anointing comes to open up prison doors to them that are bound number two psalm 66 verse 3 psalm 66 verse 3 let's read it please just write it and look up and let's read one to read say unto god uh-huh read on through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves to thee not through the greatness of grammar not through english and negotiation on the strength of the excellency of your power listen let me tell you something you are liable for oppression the moment you find yourself here unfortunately it is not given to you to choose to arrive here are we together the moment you are born there are children who from birth they are already born with all kinds of sicknesses are we together they never chose it is the reality listen let me tell you the moment you cross the second heavens the domain of evil can find expression the heaven of heavens belong to the Lord the Bible says but from the second heavens demonic activities are authorized to find expression down till under the earth that's what happens to children the moment it's not a man and a woman that produces children they just create the body for the child to come but the moment that child arrives right from the interface of the second heavens war begins over the destiny of the child it's left for the father and the mother to be spiritual enough to secure the destiny of the child or careless enough to allow anything happen are we together yeah that is why you hear that children are initiated from the womb how can you initiate a child whose faculty of reasoning is not there are we together is it not in your bible that john was filled with the holy ghost from the womb how did he pray in tongues how did he manifest that hallelujah I want to show you four keys to accessing the anointing this this is the place where I want us to be sensitive now because you are not only going to hear you are going to receive Amen. hallelujah please believe me you are not going to hear alone you are going to receive Amen. I enter the holy of holy I enter through the blood of the Lamb. I enter to worship you only. I enter to honor I am. I enter the Holy of Holies. I enter through the blood of the Lamb. I enter to worship you only. I enter to honor I am. Holy Spirit, we wait on you. 
Holy Spirit, I wait. Holy Spirit, I wait on you for fire. Kaba kaba ya, for fire. Lord, we wait on you. Lord, we wait on you. You can make tonight your night of encounter. Listen. There was a time in my life the anointing was not upon me. I was not born with it. Are we together? A time can come and tonight can be that time. If you believe. But if you are careless, Elijah said, if you can see me, was he blind? It's a spiritual language. There is a measure of sensitivity it takes to truly grab the anointing. It's not about falling down. Look at me. It's not about falling down. It's about your spirit. Station. You are not just hearing. You are seeing what the Lord is saying. Let me tell you something. The difference between you and the next level of your life is the anointing. There is nothing that will cover for the absence of the anointing. I know it. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you were mighty on your throne. Just follow me, follow me. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh. Kadosh, you were mighty on your own. Break forth, thou fountains of the deep, and weep, Kadosh, you were mighty on your own. Yeah, yeah. Mighty in this place, yeah. Abba Shaba Kataya, you're mighty in this place. Shalom, shalom, my father, shalom. Shalom, you're welcome in this place. Shalom, Jehovah, Baba Shakatabayada. Shalom, you're welcome in this place. Yeah. sensitive what are the keys that have turned ordinary men to wonders workers of miracles what can a man do what is the secret 
that can open up this fountain in the spirit for no man is born with this thing hear me there is a key there are keys no man is born with unction Jesus himself what can make a man of God so powerful that your words can create an effect in the life of men you are speaking from one end and someone outside is shaking like a leaf what is the key please hear me this is an office I'm not speaking to you as a man I can speak to you as a man who has researched this truth but I speak to you as a custodian of the mystery of this thing I may not show you I may not boast that I know business principles I may not boast that I know on leadership but I can teach you the mysteries of the presence of God for it is an office it was given to me by Jesus Christ the angels bow before him the beautiful Beautiful The heavens are not the door The angels bow before you You're beautiful yeah. You're beautiful Just follow me tonight Heaven and not the door The angels bow before you You're beautiful Heaven sent out the glory. The angels found the glory. The glory. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Oh. oh, oh. understand what I'm teaching you tonight and you will walk in a new dimension believe me understand what I'm teaching you tonight and your ministry will change like day and night understand what I'm teaching you tonight and you will become like a God upon the earth understand what I'm teaching you tonight and your ranking will change instantly in the spirit understand what I'm teaching you tonight and your life will become a wonder it's not by quoting scripture it's a realm you can stand in number one the first key to accessing the anointing is salvation don't trivialize it write it and take it as serious as anything there are many people in church who are not born again but they want power there are many pastors on the altar who are not born again but they want power you can fast as an unbeliever you will never find power you can be the pa of a man of god and not be born again please hear me that they ordain you does not mean you are born again are you hearing what i'm saying ah i tell you i sense fire in this place that you were ordained they poured oil on you does not mean that you are born again let me tell you we can do what we know to do on earth but it depends on whether god approves of it or not ah, 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 ah. That's what I'm hearing in the spirit.
John chapter 1 verse 12 we have to hurry up because God will soon sit in this place the weight of his glory but as many as received him meaning not everybody will receive him as many as received him to them gave he what power the power is for those who receive him not those who are near him not those who go to where he is proximity to god is not salvation let me tell you the truth there are so many people who need to examine their born again i am telling you this there are many people who are not born again are we together and i don't mean just by religious activities no an encounter with jesus christ no there are people who are not born again you will say this and many people will argue with you but the way the early church were born again when they were born again fire fell on them salvation the power to become is for those who receive for those who receive him they are the type God will back God does not back everybody just because Jesus died for everybody does not mean you just speak and things happen you know it's and, and please if you're a pastor here hear me aside from the impartation you receive tonight open your eyes don't think it's just by wearing suit and holding a mic though the power of God is here all these things we keep doing we fool ourselves nothing will cover for the absence of an encounter not suit not English not Greek and Hebrew there must be a track record in the secret place he said that which I tell you in the secret declare thou on the mountain top you don't just come and stand and because they gave you a mic you expect things to happen no sir human beings are not robots are we together human beings are not idiots do you know the power it takes to lift a man off his seat I don't mean physically alone track record salvation number two the second key Give us 1 Corinthians 2 verse 9. The second key, pay attention to a rich, heavy deposit of the anointing upon your life that is undeniable is addiction and passion for God and His kingdom. Addiction, passion. I'll give you more than a song. For a song in itself Is that what you have required? You search much deeper within To the way things are You're looking into my heart I'm coming back It's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. There is no power for part time Christianity. There is no power for part time addiction. There is no power for part time ministry. So many pastors are part time ministers. By part time, I don't mean that you are doing another thing. Part time with God. And part time with ambition looking for relevance joining all kinds of stupid associations to quickly rise the ladder of ministry no it is God that lifts men please hear me your addiction for God must supersede your addiction for money must supersede your addiction for church your addiction for Versace and Boss and Gucci. Your addiction for cars and houses. If you want God's power. Except if you want to go and see a herbalist. But if you want the power that comes from heaven. It must match your level of addiction. You will never have more power beyond your addiction. No. Your addiction defines the flow of the anointing. How addicted are you? to God as a person. Two, how addicted are you 
to his kingdom to seeing his kingdom come don't say i'm addicted it shows in your giving it shows in your time it shows in your service in the house of god don't tell me you are addicted to god when you can be comfortable and come and sit in a ministry for months and years and you are not part of building that house you are not addicted no he says as the deer pants after the water brooks so my soul pants after you it was the psalmist that said this he says oh lord you are my god he said early will i seek you my soul thirsts for you right to see your power and your glory let me tell you something many christians in our generation we love god we are born again but we are too ashamed of our addiction addiction the same way have you seen someone addicted to uh, what they call this thing indian hen the person will not mind coming to meet a small child and say sir please give me 10 naira. i have not eaten he's lying so obviously but because he cannot help it if you can still manage your passion for god you don't love him enough Oh, let's let's be real let's let's not act like fools you are joking you want power i'm telling you you must fall in love with god with all your heart not fall in love with the healing anointing many of us are i you know i pray for people and most times when people come that i pray for them so that they will receive double portion or triple portion or whatever i know they don't love god they even love me more than god i see it in their expression that they only love me because we have taught that you should honor a man you know that they love me more than god you know they love that anointing more than god anything above god even if he gave you is an idol whatever it is please hear me do you love god more than your beauty do you love god more than power do you love god more than koinonia do you love god more than joshua selman that's addiction do you love god more than marriage do you love God more than more than whatever it's all these carnal things that take our time? Please fall in love with God in a way that nothing in time. People get jobs. When they lose jobs, they backslide. What a shame to your passion for God. You are in a relationship. Someone says, I will marry you. All of a sudden, he says, I'm not doing. And you leave God. God, I'm angry. Jesus told the disciples, he said, will you also go? And they said, to whom shall we go? Where, where are we going? Leaving you is no longer an option. If you never bless me, I still, I mean, I still owe you my love forever. Please, let me tell you something. If you want power from God, stop seeking God just because of things. Stop seeking God just because of things. Oh Lord, I want your time. I want your hand and we bend God's hand with fasting and prayer no how many pastors want to see God glorified in their assemblies very little I can tell you this many pastors fast some of you are like that probably you came from somewhere you are sitting boiling waiting for the time of impartation and God is saying calm down not so so that you will not go back disappointed God is not a herbalist there is a protocol to true spiritual power addiction addiction outspoken christianity outspoken christianity not the type you off your ringtone because you are in a place that 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 will fall your hand if god falls your hand you are falling i tell you i rather be a doorkeeper the psalmist said I will trade my palace and its honor to serve God. Forever you will be. Forever you will be. The lamb upon the throne. The lamb upon the throne. And I gladly bow. To worship you. MOG, it's time to seek God more than ministry. 
your ministry is distracting you and killing you from God you have carried ministry and put on your head like a luggage that came from demons and you you will afford for your secret place to suffer so that you will fulfill a ministerial schedule I can cancel any ministration for my secret place you know we think being busy is ministry oh today i'm in hawaii tomorrow i'm in dubai next tomorrow i'm in south africa next tomorrow i'm in uk then i'm in Accra, Ibom. i'm in london and we think because we are hopping up and down we are doing ministry let me tell you you may be doing all these things but before god you are not doing anything your heart is more important than your voice to god don't think because you are always talking it means god is hearing you no your heart number three let's hurry up i want us to pray what is the third key the baptism of the holy ghost the third key to fire in your life is the baptism of the holy ghost slash prayers so you write it slash prayers that the experience of the baptism of the holy spirit first corinthians chapter 2 verse 7 the baptism of the holy spirit backed up by the ability to pray in tongues fluent tongues now there's no time for me to go into this discussion please don't stop mike don't stop you see this concept of prayer and the concept of the baptism of the Holy Spirit has been hijacked by Satan. Please listen to me. It is not a denominational perspective. It has nothing to do with Pentecostalism and charismatism. I was never filled with the Holy Ghost in any church. There is no pastor, no denomination that can claim that it was because I was in the assembly. No. God did that for me specifically. So that I will be able to communicate these truths to people. The devil has cheated us. And I know many of us is in fear. So that we don't get into witchcraft and diabolism. I understand. And I respect your passion. But listen to me. If you want power in this kingdom. That endowment with power. That endowment with power, ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost comes upon you. Acts chapter 2 from verse 1 to 4 says, Now, when the day of Pentecost were fully come, he said they were gathered together in one accord. Verse 2 says, Suddenly, suddenly, not gradually. The baptism does not happen gradually. Suddenly. Are we together? Suddenly. They had a sound, that sound as of a mighty rushing wind. And the Bible says it came and filled the room. And then the Bible says they saw what looked like cloven tongues as of fire. And it rested on each, each one of them. Not some, they're not as shared, each one of them. Then the Bible says, then they began to speak with tongues as the Holy Ghost gave them utterance. There were 120 in the upper room. It was such an experience that all the people around that place came and saw the mighty things they were doing. And they said, these men were drunk with new wine. They linked that experience with wine. The same way a man drinks beer, one bottle, two bottles, ten bottles. At the eleventh one, he's not himself again. Another influence takes him. So when they saw the men, he said, you are behaving like those who have taken this thing. Are we together now? And then in Acts chapter 3, still, well, Acts chapter 2, when Peter finished preaching to them, the Bible says they were caught to the heart. And this is what they said, men and brethren, what shall we do? And then he says, repent for the remission of your sins. And then he says, you shall receive this promise for the promise is unto you and your children and your children's children and as many as are far off as many as the Lord will call that included us are we together yeah 
in Acts chapter 19 from verse 1 to 4 is the most classic explanation of the baptism of the Holy Spirit Paul having passed through the upper coast the Bible says he came and he found certain disciples disciples they were already born again give us Acts please 19 1 to 4 they had passed through the upper coast the Bible says Paul came and found certain disciples are we together and then he asks them a question verse 2 he says have ye received the Holy Ghost since ye believe meaning it's not the same experience has been born again initiated by the same spirit but there are two separate experiences have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed and then they replied him they said we have not even heard if there be any Holy Ghost and Paul was surprised and then he says unto what then were you baptized he was asking them a question and they said the baptism of John then Paul began to explain to them he said the baptism of John was a baptism of repentance that they should believe on the one who was to come that means it was Jesus Christ and afterwards Paul said the, the Bible says they were now baptized to the name of Jesus Christ and then Paul laid his hands upon them and then the Holy Spirit came upon them and they spoke with tongues right they were 12 in number have you received the Holy Ghost have you received that empowerment since you believed when you read let's read from 18 18 the last five verses if you can give it to us right the Bible talks about a very intelligent man hallelujah um, no not 19 verse 18 18 Acts 18 Acts 18 please the last four verses Acts 18 Media, are you with us? Acts 18. Okay, let's just let's just turn there so we don't waste time. Okay. Now the Bible says, give us from verse 24. Let's start from 24. Listen to this story. A certain Jew named who? Apollos. And the Bible says Apollos was born at Alexandria. He said he was a man who was mighty in scriptures. He was eloquent. He was an orator. Are we together? And then the Bible says he came to Ephesus. Ephesus is not the place you come and preach nonsense. It's where Paul got his revelation of the highest church truth. There was a goddess called Diana in Ephesus. She was the goddess that controlled that center of economy. So you had to be sound and mighty in scriptures. Now Apollos came. Next verse. 25. He said the man was instructed in the way of the Lord. And was what? Fervent in spirit. Zealous. The Bible says. And he spake and taught diligently the things of the Lord. But he had a limitation. What was his limitation? Knowing only the baptism of John. He was born again and he knew repentance. Like many people in churches, like many pastors, they are zealous, they love God, but the scope of the understanding of God is the baptism of John. Let's see what happened. One day, he went to a crusade to impress everybody as usual. He says, and he began to speak in the synagogue and then there were two strange men in that synagogue. They were men who were powerful people of the spirit called Aquila and Priscilla they said when they had him and they they took him with them they said we see zeal in you but you are limited there is a theology that has not been taught to you we want to upgrade your scope of the understanding of God the Bible says they took him hear me and then they says they expounded to him the way of God more what perfectly let's see what he did as a result next verse and when he was disposed and passed to Achaia the brethren wrote exhorting the disciples to receive him the Bible says who when he was come he helped them much which believed through grace let's see what he did next verse for he mightily convinced the Jews now he had an evidence he didn't just speak to them in the former verses he was eloquent sorry but now he could convince them that 
publicly showing by the scriptures that Jesus was the Christ this was not just just again there was an evidence there was an empowerment listen you must be tired of explanations oh God is this God is that one miracle can answer a thousand questions there is no amount of message you want to preach that will impress men again the internet is full of messages there are all kinds of men of God with perspectives all across Africa all across the world messages are now free what the world needs is a demonstration of power Romans chapter 8 please verse 19 Romans chapter 8 for the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation not the explanation not the discussion let's see it in the new living translation or the message bible I'm looking for the version that says creation is waiting for the sons to reveal who they truly are there is a version like that 8 verse 19 not 20 8 verse 19 8 verse 19 uh, thank you NLT for creation is what eagerly waiting for that future day when God will reveal who his children really are because the Bible says it does not yet appear they are still looking at us and they think we are like them but there is an activity happening in us the Bible says behold what manner of love the father had bestowed upon us that we should be called sons of God are we together the Bible says now are we the sons of God and it does not yet appear what we shall be like we're still in the formation there is still a building Christ is still being formed in us like Paul prayed to the church he said my little children of whom I travel until Christ be formed for when he's done let me tell you he will produce a wonder in our lives first Corinthians 2 verse 7 quickly and then we'll go to the last key and we'll pray first Corinthians 2 verse 7 he says talking about the mystery of this language of the spirit he said no please give it to us um, okay no problem no problem let's just stick it there he says no the wisdom we speak it doesn't make sense but the bible calls it the hidden wisdom God put it like that so that only humble people can walk in it if you are not humble enough to receive that hidden wisdom the bible says we speak the wisdom we speak of is what the mystery everybody say mystery the same way there is a traditional festival and you see people going around fire and making enchantments and putting fire on their body have you seen that happen and it doesn't burn them they put the fire in their mouth and bring it out they carry knife and put it in their mouth and it enters and brings it out because they are operating on a mystery the Bible says to the believer there is a mystery that has been given you it says the mystery of God his plan that was he previously hidden what was it he said even though he made it for our ultimate glory so one secret to your entering the glory is this mystery called tongues when a man locks up himself and begins to pray people say you are just talking nonsense no problem it's the same way you talk nonsense and call it laughter <laughs> and nobody laughs at you it's intelligent in fact people accuse you for not laughing who taught you how to laugh the same way your cry as sarcastic as it looks it compels compassion tongues is also like that don't let anybody tell you you are taught to pray in tongues when you slap a baby Shade, when you gave birth to your child and they slapped the child and the child started crying who taught the child that they cry with the mouth not the eyes it was programmed there listen 
I want you to know that the believer is supernatural. When you remove the supernatural, we are just herbalists. Leaders of, and followers of a religion. Don't remove the supernatural dimension. Hallelujah. Made for our glory. Any man who does not pray cannot reveal the glory of God. There is a relationship between prayer and power. Acts 1 verse 8, you shall receive power. Acts 2 verse 1 to 4, they receive tongues. Jesus didn't say you will receive tongues. He said you receive power. But in Acts chapter 2, they receive tongues. Meaning there is a system that tongues uses to translate and produce power in a man. It was Paul himself that said, I thank my God. I pray in tongues more than ye all. Hallelujah. Luke 18 verse 1, he spake a parable unto them to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. 1 Thessalonians 5 17, pray without ceasing. It doesn't mean pray from morning till night, you'll be an irresponsible person. It means pray consistently. The Bible says, and the fire upon the altar, it shall never go down day or night. Let me tell you something. Whatever attacks your prayer life has really destroyed your life. It's cheaper for your finances to be attacked than for your prayer life. It's cheaper, as bad as it is, for your health to be attacked than your prayer life. And let me tell you how Satan attacks you. He makes you to resent everybody that can help you. You fight and quarrel them and push them. When you are alone, then he attacks you. Satan never attacks you until he creates an occasion through bitterness, through anger, through fault finding. So everybody that can help you and intercede for you, he cuts you away from them and then he leaves you alone. Solitude is a sign that darkness is close to you. Listen, listen. Excessive solitude, I'm not talking of just retreating to pray. When there is a desire in you to not hear people, to not listen, you are in a world of your own, it's a sign that darkness is close to you. It's a strategy for your destruction. The last key to receiving unction to reveal the glory is called impartation. The mystery of impartation. Transference of grace. Transference of unction. Transference of power. Numbers chapter 27 We'll just look at one example so that we pray. Let's see what transpired between Moses and Joshua. A classic sign of biblical impartation. Numbers 27, verse 18 to 23. Numbers chapter 27. Please write this scripture down and study it with all your heart. This was God instructing Moses to prepare Joshua for ministry. Are we together? Are you ready? Let's read. One to read. And the Lord said unto Moses, Take thee Joshua, the son of Nun, a man in whom is the spirit, and do what? Lay your hands upon him. That what should happen. Next verse. And set him before Eleazar the priest, and before all the congregation, and give him a charge in their sight. Are we together? And he says, and thou shalt put some of thine honor. Can you show me where honor is in a man? God said, don't just, through impartation, transfer your spirit, transfer your honor. I told you honor is not something you fight for. It's a mantle. That all the congregation of the children of Israel may be obedient. There is a mantle that makes men loyal to a grace. It's not by shouting and saying, obey me. There is a mantle. And he shall stand before Eleazar the priest, who shall speak counsel for him, and so on and so forth, and so on and so forth. Now let's see what happened. Deuteronomy chapter 3, chapter 34, verse 9. Just one scripture. Deuteronomy 34. It's still a continuation of this story. Deuteronomy 34, verse 9. 
Let's read together. One, two, read. Uh huh. Was full of the spirit of wisdom. Why? For Moses had what? Laid his hands upon him. And the children of Israel hearkened unto him. Listen. You know why people don't listen to you? Because you are trying to do ministry using seniority. You are trying to do ministry saying, don't disrespect me. There is an unction that compels loyalty. Men are not loyal to a man just because he can preach. They will clap for you. When you see a ministry that can follow a man unto death, brothers and sisters, there is a mystery upon his head. I can tell you Koinonia has that mystery. You see, ba, there are secrets in this kingdom. There are secrets in this kingdom. The one you can find is the one you will live by. The one you do not know is the one that will change you forever. God said, I want to honor Joshua, but I will not ignore a vessel who is already carrying it. He said, Moses, it is within your power to put your spirit and your honor upon him. Listen, you can carry a man's grace and the virtue of God upon his life and reap. You can trace an anointing and know where it came from. Are we together? You can see a man stand on stage and know that this came from Benihim. This one. You can see this prayer fire and know this one came from Duncan Williams. This one did not just come from this. You can see a prosperity mantle and trace it. Anointings are like address. They can show you where they came from. I'm a product of many anointings. The glory revealed through the anointing. The anointing giving you capacity to produce an evidence. An evidence and evidence there are different kinds of anointings there is the power to prosper shout it say the power to prosper i want you to shout it like you mean it say the power to prosper, the power to prosper. this is what many people need to pray for i'm not against business ideas i teach you principles there's financial dominion but i can tell you there is such a thing as the power to prosper. If you don't have it, I've seen people who have all kinds of business ideas. But the power to prosper is not a business idea. The power to prosper is a grace that compels creation to respond to you in a certain way. Jesus had it. He said, go. And you will see a donkey, a coat. No man had written on it. Bring it. The owner could not say no. What kind of grace is that? That's the grace that will make you tell somebody, we need speakers for our program. And he said, take it. That's the grace that will make somebody say, take my car and be using it for this crusade. There is such a grace. Let me tell you something. How you will know the power to prosper is not in your life is that you pay for everything. If you pay for everything, the power to prosper is not. It's not about being a millionaire. The power to prosper is not about being a millionaire. It's about the supernatural speaking in your life. Men are rising to help you when there is trouble. Listen, if you are in trouble and there is no man who can arise to help you, I'm telling you, the power to prosper is not the power for finances. We have reduced it to money. Every time preachers preach, they, they mean the power to give you dollars. Please, don't insult God. Money was an idea. By the time that scripture was written, there was no naira, there was no dollar. It's the power that moves you forward. Even if it must raise help us from anywhere. I want you to believe this by the grace of God this is how this ministry came the power to prosper listen please I don't know how I don't want you to think money money is part of it if you think money you will be you will think I am saying 
the power to get money to buy watch and suit that's nonsense that's not what i'm talking about to prosper means to do well to prosper means by all means you will excel are we together the pros the power to prosper is the power that moves men to support your interest at the expense of their own interest when you see a man a man who can leave his own assignment and pursue another man's assignment there is power to prosper there that's what God wanted to give us but pastors have told us the power to prosper is the power to buy a nice shoe and you sit down and pray for hours you don't need to be born again to buy a nice shoe you just need to offer value and it will come this is this is not about getting money for shoe the power that causes men to move you forward you can have money but do you have helpers you can have money but do you have endorsers you can have money but do you have men that can lift your hand this is the power to prosper say I need the power to prosper the key to suffering in a Christian's life is to ignore the power to prosper believe me you may get a job very soon you find out that money does not do everything money is not everything money is very important don't get me wrong but money is not everything there are people today who are in houses that they are not paying the rent. That's the power to prosper. You can have 500,000 to rent a duplex. You can have 2.5 million to rent a duplex. That's not necessarily the power to prosper. That's good financial acumen, good financial intelligence, and that's commendable. But the power to prosper is that you can leave your house with nothing and return back with miracles because there are men stationed anywhere whether you forget your money or not it doesn't make any difference because there is an unction that sends helpers as at when due that's the power to prosper and if our god is for us then who can never stop us and if our god is for us then what can stop help me Of the power to prosper is the ministry of men in your life the ministry of men in your life help us everywhere please listen it's not just intelligence to produce result by yourself this body is limited there is too much you can do there is only so much you can do with this body are we together yes see let me tell you something if the only job of the power to prosper is to give you money then Bill Gates can mock the church are we together you know we think all there is to the power to prosper is money I don't insult any man of God we have preached this thing but I'm saying we have limited the power to prosper to money so those who don't like money just say no 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 I don't like it to reject the power to prosper is like to cut two of your legs in the spirit how else will you move are we together the Bible says David was in the cave of Adullam by himself all of a sudden 400 men that's the power to prosper they came to him in the cave and they said be a leader of the, over us we will hear you and we will walk with you in ancient times you were not rich if you just had money they can come and beat you and kill you and remove your head and carry the gold you were rich if you had people people it was a battle of territory and loyalty but in our generation now you can be a, a greedy person that just looted from the national treasury and carry money and buy suit and come and deceive us we know what the power to prosper is there are people who are rich but they do not have it that's why they don't give god the glory when you suffer for everything you can't give god the glory are we together you suffer to get a job you suffer to keep it you suffer to buy a car you suffer to change another one you suffer to get your wife pregnant suffering all around how can you give God the glory but when you sit down and watch God God will say son I want to embarrass you stand still you have done something that has touched me stand still hallelujah 
one time we we're coming back from Ekiti and when we we're coming back from Ekiti I don't share too much of these testimonies but someone just did a heavy transfer into the ministry's account honestly I don't even know the person I had to ask the protocol people do you know this person help us everywhere not just cash not just kind someone will come and meet you and say there is a property somewhere I could not sleep the Lord said I should bless you power to prosper someone says from today until December I will fuel the generator of koinonia don't even tell apostle that's the power to prosper they make your journey easy by making you lighter you can have the money but you won't sleep because of it let me tell you one of the graces I trust God to release tonight is the power to prosper I'm explaining it to you so that you will believe if it's not in your life you are going to cry this night because some of us it, once you are stranded you are dead there no helper you call and everybody ends your call it's not about hustling it's about Ebenezer the helper of Zion are we together If you don't believe what I'm teaching you, I don't know how else to explain it to you. Are we together? There are so many people in Koinonia here preparing for marriage. The economy of Nigeria has become so fierce. If you don't have the power to prosper, you will suffer. You can get a job after laboring for years in the university. You get a job and someone just says, where are you from? And you say I'm Yoruba. He says you are not Hausa. Leave the job. It just brings in sentiments to cancel your five, six, seven years of labor. That's the world we live in now. Are we together? Are you my brother? Are you a Christian or otherwise? Are you this? Are you from the same village? Not what do you have to give? In that world of wickedness, you want to move forward? You want to plant a church. I was not born in Zaria. I'm not from Kaduna State. You don't go to another man's state and do ministry if you don't have the power to prosper. There is loyalty that comes with territory. Are we together? That's why Jesus told the people, start from Jerusalem. But when you go to a foreign territory, brothers and sisters, you need the power to prosper. That's what our fathers have used. And they have opened branches of their ministries in UK, in France. Huh? someone speaks Yoruba and another person interprets in French and the people never leave there is a pastor writing things in France and people would rather stay there and redeemed MFM is there moving as if the devil does not exist you will find places where I was I was dedicating a woman's child um, she used to be in Zaria but now she's in France she was in Holland God used us, you know, and then there was a miracle for her. After many years, she had a child and she went to different churches. The Presbyterian churches there were not dedicating children. They didn't collect tithes and they were not dedicating children because the government was sanctioning. And I told her, I said, uh -uh, you mean there's no church around? And she said, the only living church in this area is redeemed. I said, redeemed again. Redeemed again. How did you get there now? And the pastor there is a Yoruba person. Come on now. Power to prosper. You enter a land and become indomitable. A firm grasp of territories. Not intimidated by any government. They will come and go. The mystery keeps you there. Now they are downsizing workers. Between now and December, a lot will happen. I've told us, I told us at 1st of January, this thing will not go well in terms of the economy. I'm not a prophet of doom. But I told us there is a mystery of exemption. That's why God said this is a year of multiplied grace and influence. Isaiah 60 verse 1 to 3. It says Gentiles shall come. Hallelujah. If you are looking for a better Nigeria this year. I tell you the truth under God you are joking. I love Nigeria. Are we together? I'm a very loyal citizen of this nation. But this is prophecy 
is an unfolding of events some things will happen the only thing is that there is an exemption the power to prosper please you, you we, when it's time to pray you will cry it in your life that's what makes you different from unbelievers are we together that's the only condition where you can look at your life and give God glory you say no I know the school fees of my children before I will go to pay it someone has paid it and he will never tell you who he is write it again if you did not write it the ultimate proof that the anointing to prosper is upon your life is the ministry of men the ministry of helpers not just business ideas it takes men to make things happen have you not seen people with ideas and they died with their ideas someone called pastor Tunde Bakare and told him he said I love you and I've invested 200 million in an investment for you it's just growing whenever you need it they can talk to you and he said what for he said I'm okay and the man said no I had to do it you are my pastor hi when a man argues with you about blessing you there is such a thing and we are going to pray there are many other anointings the power listen the power to heal the sick there are three I'm going to teach us ah, there's no time let me just go straight to the three that the Lord told me that's number one the power to prosper number two are you ready it's called resurrection power don't claim you know what it is just listen to me resurrection power is about the apex the zenith of a man's manifestation of the anointing what is resurrection the ability to make dead things come back to life is the hallmark of creation are we together let me tell you something there is resurrection power the Bible says Ephesians please help us Ephesians 1 verse 17 we are reading down to 20 for this call Paul says for this cause I Paul I bow my knees right to the father of glory that he may give unto you listen the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him next verse the eyes of your understanding being enlightened or flooded with light he said that he may what know what is the hope of his calling and what is the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints here it comes verse 19 read it if you're a christian one to go and what is the exceeding greatness of his what power to us who believe according to the working of his mighty power what mighty power next verse which he wrought in christ when he what raised him the power that can raise a thing that has died is power indeed the power that can heal what is alive is power but the power that can raise what is dead come on you carry that anointing and enter a lifeless environment and something gives life Isaiah 32 verse 15 we are praying this one scripture and then we we'll stand up and pray let me show you that there is an ability that can bring life to dead things it is called resurrection power brothers and sisters get this anointing and your life will change no matter what it is it's a matter of time an influence upon you read it 32 want to read until the spirit be poured upon us from on high then what happens and the wilderness be counted for a fruitful vine uh -huh. and a fruitful vine be counted for a forest that's the power of resurrection you step into a desert place spirit have your way in us today spirit take control as we are changed
enemy is the power that restores. Ezekiel chapter 37. There is an anointing that can restore. I tell you, I feel the anointing of the spirit. Ezekiel 37. The hand of the Lord was upon me and he carried me in the spirit. Listen. And set me down in the midst of a valley that was full of what? Bones. No structure. This power of restoration together with the power of resurrection and the power to prosper will make you indomitable. Believe me. Verse 2. Verse 2. And cause me to pass by them round about and behold there were very many bones and they were what? Very dry. Listen, you will step into the life of people with age-long issues. The devil has stolen from them. It's not just that the situation is dead. It was stolen. Then, son of man, verse 3, he says, can these bones live? And he says, only thou west verse 4 this is one key to releasing the anointing and he said unto me prophesy speak Hagar speak command Hagar instruct compel let it be upon these bones and say unto them O ye dry bones who speaks to bones? Who speaks to bones? Dogs eat bones. Men throw bones. God speaks to bones. It says, Hear ye the word of the Lord. And then let's read verse 5. And behold, I will cause bread to enter you. Go to verse 7. So I prophesied, not as I wanted, as I was commanded. And there was what? A noise. The same noise in Acts chapter 2 verse 1. There was a sound. And behold, a shaking. And the Bible says, and behold, bones came together. This is not just resurrection. This is restoration. Are we together? We are going to pray. Hold hands together. In the next five minutes, I'd like you to blast in tongues like an angry man who is tapping into power. Lift your voice and pray. Pray like a man, like a woman who is about to take delivery of unction to function praise Reketepo kocho
Alléluia. Alléluia. I like you to look in one minute at your life. See the barriers that have stood before you. Because they are about to be smashed into pieces. Something is about to come upon your life. That will move you forward. Something is about to come upon your life. That will drive you to the next level. Something is about to come upon your life. The power to run. The power to run. The power to run. The power to fly. Please lift your hands. Listen, it is not about falling down. Don't be distracted with falling down. Open your spirit and receive something that will change your life. Don't just focus on falling down. The Holy Ghost is doing his thing. But beyond falling down, open up your heart to receive. Children, adults, don't say no. Some people cannot receive. You have a child, stand for them. Don't say they cannot receive. Hallelujah. Paul said, For I long to see you, that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye may be established. Lift your hands, I want to pray for you. The glory of God is revealed in a man when there is an anointing. Right now in the name that is above all names. I stand upon this apostolic and prophetic office. And I declare that at the count of three. By the ministry of angels. By the unction. By the ministry and the mystery that surrounds this office right now at the count of three I declare that this unction fall inside and outside online and everywhere one two three take it take it take it right now receive it power receive it Fire Shaka Baba Katala Baba inside the overflows right now, right now, right now. Every row, every row, every column, every row. The thousands following online. I release it upon you. You that are listening in your home, you that are listening in your room. The power of the Holy Ghost. The power of the Holy Ghost. The power of the Holy Ghost in your life, in your ministry, in your business. The power of the Holy Ghost. The power. Take it now. Lift your hand. There is an anointing called the power to prosper. Lift your hands and receive it. I pray for you now. Shaka Paratai. I have seen this in my life. I have seen this in this ministry. The ministry of men making your life easy. Right now, in the name of Jesus, receive the power to prosper. Take the power to prosper. 
take the power to prosper in your ministry take the power to prosper in your job the power to prosper in your academics the power to prosper in your business the power to prosper do the singing. I'm going to sing this song once. I want those who are under the anointing while I sing. This instruction God is giving me. This same song. You guys have done your good music. Let me prophesy now with it. You'll be surprised to see what will happen. In here, outside, as I'm singing this song. If that anointing finds you, as you come out here, begin to rejoice. Because it is strange breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Shabalakato Sabadasiata. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. 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 No power can stand it. Glory to the Father. The forces must let you go. Hey, hallelujah. There's authority in the song that I'm singing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, glory to 
the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to my Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father. They are leaving you now. They are leaving you now. I'm speaking by the Spirit. They are leaving you now. There are chains over you leaving now. There are chains leaving you now. I'm ministering by the Spirit. There are chains are leaving you now. Even the lawful captives. Kabarakatos. Chains. I'm seeing chains breaking from the hands of men. Chains be broken. The worship team already prepared our hearts. I command the chains to be broken by the authority of this kingdom. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. I'm commanding chains to break. Bring them out. The anointing of the spirit is breaking chains overflow one two three online chains chains of captivity all kinds of bondages every force of darkness it's time for you to go it's time for you to go release their destinies hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Now listen, God is giving me an instruction. Hold on. If there is any power associated with your family, you will know now by the fire that falls on you. This is what the Lord is telling me. I'm about to pray. That if there is anything that is demonic, responsible for the challenge of your family, get ready now. Because I see a wind of fire moving from this place right there, outside. I declare it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the fire of the Spirit visit men and women and families now. Hold on. Listen, I'm still praying. Listen to me. The Bible says that Paul was at a place, it was cold in the night, and they put wood together. When they said the, a viper was there, but it could not be seen. But when they set fire on the wood, the fire exposed the viper. I declare Shabbatos Katadia by the fire of the Spirit, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every viper hiding in any family, hiding in any destiny, be exposed now. Be exposed now. Be exposed now. Shantakatosh. Be exposed now. Every viper. Every snake. Scorpion. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Lamb. 
the Father, you are seated on the throne. Where are the forces fighting your advancement? Force is fighting men's advancement. The Lord is judging them now. Judging them now. Judging them now. It's time for you to move forward. I command judgment on the forces fighting your advancement. I command judgment on the forces fighting your advancement. Overflow one, lift your hands, please. Everyone in overflow one, lift your hands. The Lord is ministering to me. Overflow one, lift your hands. There is a mighty deliverance that is coming there. At the count of three, overflow one, I want you to shout Jesus. As you shout Jesus, I'm seeing gates with chains breaking. Are you ready now? One, two, three. lady that lady going back I'm looking at a lady but in the spirit I'm watching I'm not saying you're a bad girl my dear all I'm seeing is a serpent I'm not seeing a human being in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands I expose that serpent now glory to the father Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray a very interesting prayer. Don't mind me. Just allow me. I'm ministering under the anointing. I'm going to say exactly what I'm hearing in the spirit and if it doesn't sound logical don't worry just let me do the prayer snakes be judged snakes be judged snakes be judged snakes Serpents of the night, be judged. Serpents of the night, be judged. Serpents of the night, be judged. God is against you. Ebenezer, the helper of man, is against you. Snakes, I say it again. Be judged, be judged. No rest, no peace. Be judged. Snakes. Be judged. I'm seeing a lady vomiting something. That's what I'm seeing in a vision right now. I don't know what it is I'm seeing, but in the name of Jesus Christ, God is releasing people. There is victory. God is helping people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is opening my eyes. And I'm seeing fire. Not impartation. Fire consuming people's head. And God is saying his restoration of lost glory. That's what I'm seeing. Restoration. Something that used to be in your life and all of a sudden faded away I'm seeing fire coming on people's heads where are they oh God I stretch my hands now let the fire bring restoration 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 help them please restoration 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 I 
command restoration of every lost glory even the lawful captive shall be delivered all those who are out in front under the anointing here I declare every legal grounds upon which any spirit is operating in your life at the count of three by the mystery of the blood it leaves you now one two three go 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 out of their lives in the name of Jesus out of their lives when the blood speaks nothing else speaks again victory by the blood of the eternal covenant victory by the blood of the eternal covenant hallelujah the Lord is showing me a family here and I'm seeing that the father in that family I don't know if he's out of pressure but went to a herbalist and they gave him something to go and bury in the house he may not even know it this is something that happened a while ago and whatever it is seemed to backfire when it came to money issues he didn't go and pay like give the herbalist whatever it is that's what God is showing me now and I'm seeing that because of that every door in that family everything just closed I'm going to pray Lord wherever whoever represents that family here whether inside or outside or online I'm praying right now by the mercy of the God of heaven whatever enchantment and activities of darkness invoked by those herbalists I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus who is Rebecca 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 like Becky Rebecca Rebecca I'm hearing a name Rebecca Rebecca You are seated on the throne Stand up You are Rebecca That's the person I'm talking about Come Stand up You are seated on the throne Madam Where are you coming from? You came from Abuja. Yes, I'm seeing you in a vehicle from Abuja yes, coming. You came alone? I came with my niece and my younger brother and my cousins. They live in Zaria. You, One came from Kano. My you, but you came from Abuja. Yes, I came from What's Abuja. your name? Asma Rebecca. 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 Asma. Come. It's time for your victory. Lift your hands. There is. Let her go now. I command the spirit oppressing you. You have come to Koinonia. The place where God dwells. In the name of Jesus Christ. The power that fights you. In the name of Jesus Christ. This woman is going to return with very strange testimonies. Mama, you are Rebecca. I'll pray with you. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you. The Lord has located you and end comes to your captivity. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Samnaka. Please help this woman. Are they, are they, this mama, are they Rebecca? Mama, are you Rebecca? Rebecca. Huh? Rebecca. You are Rebecca, mama? Okay. This one, too, I'm, I'm going to pray for you. Sometimes God gives a word and then I'm, I'm talking to you now, my dear. Where are you from? Samnaka. State of origin. Region. Kaduna. You are from Kaduna State. Yes, Come, sir. I want to pray for you. There's trouble in your family. You are in need of the power of God desperately. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bring to end this captivity. The lady that is going back, tap her. Just tell her to look at me. Just look at me. 
It's over now. In Jesus' name. All of you are Rebecca. My dear, salvation is coming. An anointing is leaving me to you. And it's for your family. From next month, you will start hearing strange testimonies. Open doors. Mama, you are Rebecca. Who else is Rebecca? All of you are Rebecca. I'm going to pray for you. Ma, I have to pray for you. Yes, ma. The spirit of death is following your family. I'm, I'm not a prophet of doom. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands over our mommy. Help her, please. I command the spirit of death. One of you here, I'm, I don't know which of you, but I'm seeing an anointing coming on one of you in front here. There's one of you, an anointing is coming on you. Um, the Lord is bringing deliverance right now. You can't stand it. It's, it's the power of God. One of you, an anointing is coming on you for strange deliverance. Mama, be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Kai, there's, there's serious witchcraft. Excuse me, just a minute. I command that spirit to leave this lady now. You must go. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ, he, he who the Son sets free is free indeed. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Of Jesus Christ. Uh, this, woman, this mama doesn't speak English. I think she speaks Yoruba. She, she speaks Yoruba. Who is... Ejimi, can you come or someone? Just tell her the Lord is bringing breakthrough. You can whisper it now here. It doesn't have to be. It's your mother. Come. The Lord is breaking. The Lord is breaking a yoke. The yoke of delay. Ah, as I just mentioned delay, I just saw fire. Just left me. As I just mentioned that word delay. I'm about to pray on it. But since, since I just saw the fire, let me just do what I saw in the spirit. The spirit of delay, be judged now. The spirit of delay, I say it again, be judged now. The spirit of delay, the spirit of delay, be judged now. The spirit of delay, open your heart, open your heart and pray. The spirit of delay, be judged now any kind of delay the spirit of delay be judged now the spirit of delay be judged now be judged now be judged now breakthrough for your family God is bringing breakthrough mama God is bringing breakthrough. Your son will tell you in Yoruba. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's something on you. That makes wrong people come to you. I have to pray for you. Are you I'm looking at you. Very bad people come to you for bad reasons. No serious person. You know what I'm saying. I don't want to start bringing long. It's not. There is something. There's a spirit in you. That attracts those kind of people. They will never pass you and go free. They must turn back. And this thing is destroying your life. Hold my hands. Shout Jesus. Look at this. So you just think it's just love. You are in love with a beautiful girl. It's not just love. Out now. Go. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. I've not seen this in a long time. The Lord is showing me a map again, and this map is going to Kogi State. I'm laying my hands now. Kogi State. Let that anointing begin to find people within that region. Now I'm praying. You come within that region. Let the anointing find you. Deliverance for that region now. Shatakoto Seketea. Kogi State. Deliverance now. 
from any strange power any force of darkness if you don't know your state of origin and you are from there you can know it now by the anointing in the name of Jesus anyone from that region that's the region the anointing of the spirit is focusing on now I command deliverance now the strong men within those regions let God's people go now release them right now the spirits of the grave the spirits of ancestry I curse you by the God of heaven hallelujah lift your hands we'll pray for the sick shortly but there are people here why God brought you tonight is to receive the healing anointing I just saw it I don't know where they are they are in almost every overflow there are representations Lord Jesus anyone who you brought here to receive the anointing for healing let that anointing come this is your moment now receive it now ordained by God to receive this anointing today ordained by God to receive the grace for healing I'm seeing that anointing coming on two people in worship team two people worship team that anointing that grace hallelujah glory to the Lamb the anointing to heal the sick you don't just pray for the sick. There is an anointing. I say it again. The anointing to bring healing. To transport the power of God from the throne to their lives. Receive that anointing right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mama, come please. Please help her. She's not running by herself. It's under the anointing. Mama, I see a new dimension of healing coming on you. A new dimension, just hold her. A new dimension of healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah! This mama is going to pray for the sick and you'll be surprised. There is an unusual anointing upon you for barrenness. For barrenness. I'm praying. Help that lady, please. In the name of Jesus. Receive that anointing, mama. In the name of Jesus Christ. The grace, the grace in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is asking me to stand in front of you. Just to stand in front of you. That's the instruction I'm getting. The light shines out of darkness. God is removing something from your chest. I'm seeing something leaving you. I don't know what this is, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I stand in front of you. Be free right now. Be free right now. Be free right now. All of you who are standing here in the name of Jesus, I agree with you. And I declare, come, let me touch your child. I'm going to pray for favor. When you hear me say favor, lift your hands and receive. You need it in your life. Too many people have taken advantage of you. Even as... I'm seeing people laughing. That's, that's why I just stopped. This is very strange. A strange anointing is a sign of victory in the spirit. That's what the Lord is showing me. Strange. It's an anointing. Very strange anointing. 
You see, if you are not spiritual and you don't understand why God does these things, it's not showmanship. The Bible says he's, he filled their mouth with laughter. I read it for you. You can't stand it. It's something that laughter you see is warfare. It's not just laughing hysterically. I release it. The families that is for, the individuals that is for, laughter is a weapon in the spirit. It disarms the enemy. So my dear, when I'm praying for favor, please you stand to receive it. Eh? But I bless your child. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. There's someone, your family member has been missing. This is more than one year. Who is that person? Because the person who is missing is still alive. Let, if she's the one, who is missing? Don't come and tell lies here. Are you sure? My father, I your talked father, to you about it before. You told me about yes, it? Yes, and you remember. prayed. Where, what happened? When last did you see him? 2016, August, Saturday. He told me he was coming and that was the end. From where? From Edo State, Benin. And you've not seen him? We've not seen him since date. We are still in search of him. How about you? My cousin's sister. Your cousin's sister is missing? Yes. Sir. All these people, they are, Shaka, leave them. Shaka, Shaka. Their loved ones are... Shaka. Just find out. Once they are... Don't, please, if, if you are not related to the people, don't, please don't come here. We are going to pray generally. If you, if you do it like that, there will be chaos. How about you? My in -law. Your in-law? Yes, sir. What do you mean your in-law? From Enugu State. Okay. All of you, your loved ones are missing? Your loved one is missing. Who is that? Your younger brother? Yes, sir. Missing? Since when? 2014. 2014? Yes. They've not seen him? Yes, sir. You see how Satan works? How can somebody leave home? For you to sympathize with people, put them in your shoes. Imagine that your child left home and said, Mommy, I'm coming, and never comes back. I'm prophesying to you three years. Your child went and said, Mommy, I'm coming. Until today. Come, Mama. Give her the mic. Hold on, Mama. Your, your child is alive. This boy you see, are they twins or is he the same person? This one is one. Yeah. This is the only one. What only, happened to him? He, he left school. I put him in APU. He refused. Polly, he refused. He's busy taking drugs, going about lying to people that his parents are dead. All over our times, they call me in the police station or your state, but that court that is arrested, I don't know how they set him free at times. You see. Our honestly, let me speak towards young people. It's, it's okay, Mama. It's your only son. Only son. One, one girl, one boy. That's you all. Know. Yes. You, that's how you know it's a spirit, because the devil sat down and saw that this boy is, will bring joy to the mother, and then the devil decided to. It, will the lady not marry and go? Huh? He's very intelligent. In school, he was in the AP. He left. His Wait, wait. What's his name? Awal is his name. Awal. Awal. Yes. Hi. We are going to pray. Like a month ago, from what God is showing me, this boy had problem with police. They were smoking. In the they were yes, smoking Igbo. Police came and drugs. parked them with he his friends. Drugs. This is what Mama, let me talk to you now. I'm the one talking to you. I know. You see, when you see me pray about this, this drug, this thing, that drug is a spirit. It's more than we do respect to doctors and this thing. It's not just because of the physical thing it gives. I'm telling you, that thing is a spirit. If you have a child or you know someone that takes that thing, counseling is not the way out. There is a real spirit that must be casted out. Are we together? Some of you here right now seated in this program, you love God, but that, what, what they, they call it, codeine, again. Um, 
Mama, 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 don't worry. It's, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Because you see the way these boys are desperate for this money. They will coin every kind of story and beg you and lie. You give them 100 naira. You give, once you give them enough to take this thing, they will disappear and go and rubbish it. Let me tell you, there is none of those boys that is bad in himself. There is none of those girls that are bad in themselves. It's the influence of spirits. Nobody will be killing himself and eating death like that every day. Mama, you have come for miracle service. God will do something about you in this situation. Who is this, my brother? It's my mom, younger brother. Your for mom's over, younger brother? Yes, for missing. over 10 years, we have not seen him. 10 years, yes, we've not seen him. Oh, pray. How about you, sir? My elder brother. You're the brother. pastor that came from Warrior. Yeah, okay. From Delta State. From Delta State, okay. Uh, my elder brother was missing about 20 years ago. We really forget, forgot about him in Ghana. He was in Ghana and he's, and he's yes, missing. Yes. Okay, let me pray with you. It's an instruction. Because some of the situations now, they are even very difficult situations. I, I don't know in myself whether some of them are alive or they've gone to be with the Lord or whatever. But my job is to pray. Because God has instructed me to pray. Mama, please stop crying. You came here with faith in your heart. Let me tell you, you must eat the fruit of your labor. And I'm saying this, I'm using this mother as a point of contact, not just to every mother here, but to all our mothers. The force that wants them to labor and die in pain, go to their graves in pain, we challenge that force now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's an error to sow and someone reap. In the name of Jesus, every true mother that has labored to sow, may they reap in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying, everyone here whose loved one is missing and alive and walking in the earth here, I connect them back now in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for you. I connect them back now in the name of Jesus. Jesus called Lazarus. And when he called Lazarus, he came out. I called them by their various names in the spirit. For as long as they are alive and walking on this earth, I put a desire in them to reconnect to their families. Those who have been jailed because, you see, some of these people, let's be very fair, some of them, they, they smuggle their way out of the country. They go to Libya, they go to all of these places. Some of them go to do prostitution, unfortunately. Some of them go because they want to make money. Someone tells them, come, travel, and all of that. So some of them, they may even be in cells in some of these places you may never know. But regardless of the case, for as long as they are on earth, we cry for mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. May they be reconnected back to you in Jesus' name. God bless you. Please go back to your seat rejoicing. Go back to your seat rejoicing. Go back to your seat rejoicing. I hope someone is holding that person shouting me. My friend, come. You are doing your ushering work, but I will pray for you before you go back. Eh? Look at me. I'm looking at you. The Lord is telling me to tell you, August 7th is a month that breakthrough will begin in a very strange way for you. Hold my hands. August 7th, don't forget, write it. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this gentleman. You have revealed to me August 7th. I prophesy to him in the name of Jesus Christ. May God change your life within that time. May God change your life within that time. May God change your life within that time. I'm seeing a ring, a ring in the spirit. I'm seeing a ring in the spirit. I'm seeing a ring. Ordinary, when you see a ring, you would think maybe God is saying he's bringing marriage. Maybe marriage to families. But this one, God is delivering people 
from spirit entities with all kinds of fraternities over their lives. Right now, I stretch my hands. That's why it's important to let the Holy Ghost interpret things. I know that many of you may not believe what I'm praying, but you just allow me to pray. Every spirit entity covenanting to you as a husband or as a wife, I set fire on this ring I see in the spirit. Be free from them now. Ladies, be free now. I command those spirit entities to release you. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the gentleman, I command freedom for you now. From any entity laying claims over you. You go to bed and they come to you in the night. They try to molest you. They try to sleep with you. They can use faces of people you know or you don't know or animals. Anyone. Under the sound of my voice. Who any stranger comes to him in the night while you sleep fire is coming on you now 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 i command that they let you go now for some of us when good things are about to happen just when you're about to get it you go in the night and someone comes to sleep with you in that dream as soon as you wake up from that experience no matter what it is it's gone whether it is favor whether it is breakthrough fire is still speaking i'm praying at the count of three oh god you who is a mighty deliverer i pray that your anointing will search for these ones and bring them deliverance now one two three let there be deliverance for you now deliverance for you now from any spirit entity laying claims on your destiny hallelujah thank you Jesus this lady with lime yes you come no Look at me, look at me. I'm talking at that one with you. Yes, come. Where are you coming from? Benway. Benway State. Look at me. Look at this. Are you seeing? She just stood there. And while I was looking, I just saw a spirit to her look at me and turn the face. Now, it's very funny how these things work. See, one of the prayers you must pray in your life is for the grace of open eyes if your eyes are closed in this life and all that is open is your brain you will be in trouble open eyes is not something just for prophets it's one of the true riches of the kingdom you must cry that god will open your eyes not to see nonsense around to see something that is destiny molding now look at this girl how will i stand and see someone there and call her out imagine that this lady went back like this to her she will now say oh god so this is how you didn't locate me sensitivity discernment is a priceless spiritual gift sensitivity it comes by praying in the holy ghost it comes by praying in the holy ghost not wishing praying in the holy ghost you activate your organs you have to pray for a long time in the spirit for your spirit to be heightened to be able to perceive spiritual things otherwise you will get into all kinds of error wrong perception that you have started seeing things does not mean they are clear you must continue in the place of prayer until it becomes accurate I just showed you the thing of ring now some of you may see that ring now and then tell somebody it's, it's not marriage as it were you see it was something else but it's a ring this lady has bad luck in her life very bad luck i have to pray for you 
she just came quietly standing this i would have shared the grace and the dear lady will go back and then it will look as if god is not in the place in the name of jesus i'm seeing you cough i'm seeing her cough that's what i'm seeing in the spirit that she's beginning to cough i don't know why what is having to do with coughing but in the name of jesus christ let everything that speaks against you leave now this lady swallowed something in the dream someone came to her gave her something and she swallowed in the dream if you ever say you like this girl everything in your life goes down immediately i'm not saying she's a bad girl please don't get me wrong i'm teaching her something here she's not a bad girl but this is the operation in her life there are people do you know why we minister to people like that this is what sometimes prophets see that if they don't get discernment they go around saying someone now may not see this correctly and say this girl is a witch he's not exactly wrong in terms of saying that there is war associated with her life you can come now and hold her hands as a businessman in two months of relationship everything goes down and she knows she loves god but if you are not discerning you will now call the poor girl a witch and everybody will start running away from her she's not a witch there is just a challenge and then if you also say she's all right like that and somebody marries her that guy's life will be torn into pieces this is the testimony of so many families it's an uncomfortable truth but it's true human beings carry spirits they carry presence father liberty for her the devil is already ah someone in overflow one and overflow three is being delivered from fibroid 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 i just saw a hand reaching into someone's like someone's stomach to bring out something in the name of jesus christ that devil of fibroid we pray for the sick shortly will be very fast at it fibroid is gone now in the name of jesus christ our time is gone can we pray for the sick very quickly now listen i want you if you are coming here to be prayed for come full of faith you don't have to say what is wrong with you if you are not asked don't worry and all of us who are going to pray for the sick we are going to make this very fast are we together now um as always overflow one and part of overflow two part of overflow two you will come in here come and stand in front here uh, no no not main auditorium sorry not overflow one the main auditorium and then half of overflow two allow them to come here overflow one move to your projector stand please the remaining part of overflow two and the, those standing at the roadside you can move to the projector stand overflow three all of you trusting god for healing please move to your projector stand we have about 10 15 minutes to do this very quickly while we are doing that ushers and uh, i don't know whatever whoever needs to help them submit your prayer requests very quickly if you have your prayer request you are coming out here for healing come come there is a god that heals please if you have your prayer request you can lift it up write it very quickly no no the ushers will collect it ushers and and then if if there are not many pr department can help them let's make it snappy or any other department can help them let's let's make it very We're going to make it very fast please and please let there be orderliness once you have been prayed for we may not have time to take testimonies we are just going to pray very very quickly hallelujah okay let's see um 
Ejimi, Ejimi and Benga, overflow three. Two of you can go to overflow three. Um, let's see. Pastor Alpha and Promise, overflow one outside. Pastor Femi and Kenny, overflow two. Let's do it like that. I'll, I'll pray. I'll pray for the ones here by myself. Hallelujah. Let's pray together. In the name of Jesus, everybody say amen. amen. Father, we declare corporately that your healing power will begin to flow. Heal the sick. Deliver the oppressed. And in the name of Jesus, bring yourself glory by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Please make sure while we are praying, the ushers also come to these people in front so that they can have it. We'll be very, very fast so that we finish on time. Thank you, Jesus. You're the name above every other name. Hail Yahweh. Great Yahweh. You're the name above every other name. Great Yahweh.
to walk on the world. Like that, I'm not going to stop it. My God, that is who you are. Somebody said, Waymaker. Waymaker. Be right on the world. Oh! 
It's not a ritual. Declare that everything I've dropped here in the name of Jesus becomes an answered prayer. Please, ushers, make sure. Make sure that we have everyone's request here. Those online connect by faith. I'm praying now. Make sure you are praying. Prophesy. Are you praying? Father, I believe. I believe. If the devil didn't stop your request from getting here, he will not stop it from being answered. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be miracles. And I anoint this request. I anoint them in the name of Jesus. I anoint them by the power of the Holy Ghost. I anoint them in the name of Jesus. Signs and wonders, breakthroughs, impossible situations. Turn things around, oh God. You have declared that you are turning things around. Turn around everyone's captivity. Turn around everyone's captivity. Let there be testimonies. Break the spirit of delay. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree and declare. Hallelujah. Every time we do this, we do this one as instructed. And then number two, because it's an opportunity to have everyone's desire and everyone's request here. Father, I stand upon these requests by faith. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Lord, these requests are a representation of the needs of your people. I stand, oh God, in the name of Jesus on their behalf, and I cry, let fire fall upon this request. And I prophesy to you on account of this request that the Egyptians you see today, in the name that is above all names, may you see them no more forever. I say it again that the Egyptians you see today, may you see them no more forever. Some of you, before this month is over, you will return with strange testimonies. 
it's still two days or a day or so to the end of the month between now and even tomorrow may you return with strange testimonies whoever must be judged for this prayer to be answered may it be so whoever must receive a conviction about you between tonight and tomorrow or till whenever for this prayer to be answered we declare it so in the name of Jesus and so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ put your hands together for Jesus lift your hands to receive the prophetic word now we're rounding up the miracle service is not complete if you don't receive a prophetic word prophecy is powerful it's powerful it creates I release testimonies to your life let me say it again because many of you didn't believe it I release testimonies to your life I release testimonies to your life I release testimonies to your life I release testimonies to your life. The key that you need to open the door for the next level may be handed it over to you in the spirit. The kind of favor that you will need to testify in the name of Jesus. May the God that gives favor to men grant you favor. in the name of Jesus for those in need of restoration I prophesy receive restoration for those in need of an urgent miracle a miracle that has to happen on time otherwise it will cost you I stretch my hands in the name that is above all names let it happen to you even within 24 hours, let there be that. Year. For those who have never had an opportunity to laugh, every time you want to laugh, something comes that must force you to cry. I announce to you, the season of your laughter begins tonight. Where you have been despised, I place an anointing upon you and tonight I call you Beulah and Hephzibah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone here in ministry and things are not working, you are doing your best but it's just not working. Receive the grace to begin to walk in a greater dimension of signs and wonders. Anyone here in business, in the name of Jesus, you are entering the season of your best days from now anyone here trusting God for a job for you or for your loved ones between now and the next miracle service return with your testimony return with your testimony return with your testimony every challenge plaguing your family not just you a family thing everyone is crying from it could be patterns could be whatever it is I stretch my hands right now and in the name that is above all names, I bring those patterns to an end now. For those trusting God for financial miracles, your miracle, the area you are trusting God is directly in the area of finances. I agree with you and I release my faith. May the God that prospers men surprise you. Everyone here called barren or standing in for any barren person. Return as a mother of joyful children. The anointing that makes things work. The grace for performance. I release that grace upon your life. Everything that is upon your hand now, I command it to work. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I announce to you let july from july 1st to july 31st may it be named a month of strange miracles strange wonders strange miracles strange wonders 
strange miracles strange wonders in the name of Jesus Christ tonight for some of you as you sleep may my God show you the secrets of your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ every area where you are trusting God to give you divine direction in the name of Jesus every spiritual mechanism that God can use to communicate to you I declare that let it be so for you revelation after revelation finally whoever needs to arise and help you they already have the capacity all they need is the willingness I pray for you let me tell you breakthrough is very easy when your helper likes you your helper has the means but he needs to have the heart some have the heart but they don't have the means you need both I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus that any man and woman positioned around you that has the ability to help you I pray that God will put it in their hearts to help you I speak over your life a new level of spiritual encounters I say it again a new level of spiritual encounters for some of you I'm holding my Bible as a prophetic act because some of you have divorced this book not willingly but by reason of the operation of spirit the only time you open your Bible is in church or a koinonia right now fall in love with this bible fall in love with the word of god an appetite for the word of god i release upon you every kind of spiritual laziness you say i wake up to pray by 12 and sleep till 8 in the morning or you get up to pray and five minutes you are snoring back it's an attack i cast that spirit over your life fresh fire upon your prayer altar in the name of Jesus Christ we declare peace over Nigeria we declare peace over the north we declare peace over Plateau State we declare peace over Kaduna State we declare peace over Zaria. Specifically for Zaria, we fortify the spiritual borders of this city. And in the name of Jesus, we declare that no orchestration of darkness will arise to disrupt the peace and serenity of the people. May the angels of the Lord, in the name of Jesus, secure the borders of this city. Secure the borders of the north. And we pray that the perpetrators of wickedness be judged by God in heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are here. And you need Jesus. Desperately. Keep standing please. You need Jesus desperately. Desperately. You are saying man of God. I need Jesus as a matter of urgency. I have seen the value. I have seen the usefulness of Jesus in my life. Hitherto, every time I hear about Jesus, I, I resent him. I scorn and laugh at those who talk about him. But from tonight's meeting, the Holy Spirit has convicted me. And I testify. And with all humility, I declare that I need him. Second category of people. Man of God, I love Jesus with all my heart. But I know that I need a strengthening in my spiritual life. Things have gone haywire. If God does not help me, there will be no way out for me. You belong to these two categories, Overflow 1, Overflow 2, Main Auditorium. I'd like you to walk out here quickly. Overflow 3, I'd like you to run to your projector stand. Very quickly, I'm counting 1 to 5 and we're done. 1, God bless you. Appreciate them, Koinonia, they're coming. 2, you're still indecisive. It's not good for your destiny. Jesus, I love you. I want to make a genuine decision for you. Three. Please, if they are coming from other overflows, clear the way for them. You are running to Jesus. Don't be ashamed. No man condemns you. 
You are before his throne of grace to obtain mercy, to obtain grace. We are all products of his mercy and grace. Four, please come quickly, quickly, double up. Apostle, I'm not sure whether I'm born again or not. Join them. Join them very quickly. I remember coming out for an altar call, but I, I honestly don't know the name of what I'm doing now. Join them quickly. Join them quickly. Koinonia, is this the best you can do for them? Jesus said, ye must be born again. Salvation is non-negotiable. Listen, let me encourage everyone. Koinonia is not the only platform for genuine salvation. The first mission of this ministry is massive salvation of souls. We must seek and save the lost. Not just save the lost when they come to us. We must seek them. Are we together? Because many of them may not be in a position ordinarily where they can receive salvation. We seek them through intercession. We seek them by engaging them in the conversation that leads them to Christ. God bless you. Lift your hands, all of you. Some of you are crying. You are standing before the Lord. Honestly, the Bible says, whoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Say this loud after me. You are making a confession to the God of heaven. Say, Jesus. Say it again. Say, Jesus, I believe in you. That you are the Son of God. Tonight, I declare that I need you. I need you in my life. I need you in my destiny. Therefore, I declare that you are my Lord. You are my Savior. You are my King. I hand over my life and everything about me to you and to your Lordship. I receive eternal life. I receive the Spirit of God. And I declare, from today until forever, I belong to Jesus. I declare that I'm a child of God. The grace to walk in victory is mine. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Jesus, thank you. Father, we give you all the glory for drawing these ones. No man can come to you except you draw them. I pray that the grace that keeps men, let that grace keep these ones. The grace that lifts men, let that grace lift them. The grace that secures them, let that grace secure them. In the name of Jesus, I declare your sins forgiven and I declare that the grace to walk in victory be given to you. You will move forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' name I pray. Congratulations. Thank you so much for this bold decision. Please, I'd like you to follow this gentleman waving his hands. Just follow them in concert. All of you, there will be a group of people to just talk and pray with you very quickly. All of you, God bless you. Let's honor them. Let's appreciate them. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.